Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because I get a lot of emails of people asking me what tools do you recommend and uh, what is to be expected when building a quadcopter and what I believe are some essentials and some things that are very very good extra to have if you if you have the budget for them. So let's first start with the most important thing. It's obviously hex drivers. All of our quadcopters are usually well, all of them basically are using hex drivers. Now, I used to use, you know, the LN type ones, and those would constantly strip and ruin my uh, screws in the quadcopters until one day I saw these titanium plated uh, screwdrivers from Banggood. I think I've had these now for maybe over eight months, and they have never, ever stripped anything or even gotten dull. So I'd highly recommend them. They, they, they just come in four, they come in basically almost the size you need 1.5, this would be for micros. 2.5 some motors like the racer star and I think some T motors uh, Screws that they come in the box are this size and mostly every other Screw is a two millimeter So you're basically set with this and it comes with just these four here There's a more expensive version which comes with these and a lot more other things that's titanium coated with like a magnetic tray And this carrying pouch. I do have that one also, but I have it in the backpack right now I'll leave a link to this and that one down below so you can see what your budget kid uh you know take so you can get whatever you can but I, I still these are always next to me always 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 next to me and they're very good priced and they have lasted a while so I'd highly recommend them without a doubt in my mind so that's one thing they're pretty cheap I think less than 10 bucks here and and the really a must because stripping those screws could ruin your whole quadcopter sometimes so take that into consideration also Another thing, I highly recommend tweezers. Now, you know, you can get any kind of tweezers. You know, you can go to the beauty shop or whatever and get them. But these are a little bit different. It, they're very nice because they're, these have two functions, which are super cool. And they're hella cheap, like two bucks. You get all kinds of different shapes here. And uh, the way this works is, for example, you had like a little boot button, okay? What it does is it'll conduct electricity through it, but where you're touching, it doesn't conduct electricity. So if you were to hold like the two paths to each other, they're actually basically now you bridge them, even though they're far apart from each other. That's one super awesome thing about these. And these are basically meant for these types of things. Another thing it's to hold your small wires into place so you don't burn your hand. You get a nice cleaner joint because like, for example, you could rest it on something and then just, you know, come in with the solder and then you're good. So these are highly recommend. You can they're, they're absolutely phenomenal. I always pick up a couple every now and then because I tend to ruin them because sometimes I go use them for things that they're not meant to be used for and I just end up bending them like I'm trying to take a wire out of something because it's the only thing that's currently fits that's next to me. But uh, if you use them for what they're meant for, they'll never go bad on you. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing. Now this is not a must, but it's nice to have. Now for example, if you don't have a soldering iron at home, uh, you really don't need to buy one, but get this guy. This guy is insane. It works like on a 12 volt power supply. It doesn't come with it, but it works on a 12 volt power supply and lipo batteries. And it has all these awesome features in it. It goes up to 400 degrees centigrade. And lately I've been building everything and just using this instead of my full soldering station. Uh, I'll leave a link to my soldering station down below. And I think the video of it, I've had it for over a year now. It's just, it's a beast. But now I'm just pulling this guy because I, I just can't believe it's performance. So this tip, this soldering iron is absolutely phenomenal. It's like it's gone down in price because there's a newer version that's out. But just because there's a newer version doesn't make this crap anymore. This thing performs perfect. I mean, I'm not looking to get a newer version of this. I'm just sticking to this. I've been using it a lot lately. So I really recommend this one uh, for portability. Or if you don't have a soldering iron, you can do everything with this one from basically anything xc60 connectors just about everything um there's nothing that thing can't do it's it's pretty awesome actually it's even better than the cheaper ones you get like the little stations you get from you know the whatever supermarket or something because this thing is basically intelligent it has a microcontroller unit so what it does is it's actually intelligent by the fact that it senses that you know once you touch something obviously the tip will cool down and it'll sense it and it'll push extra power like it'll push extra burst of current through it to keep it at the temperature which makes it better than a lot of anything else you could possibly buy. Possible. So this is very nice and it's it's very useful. Not the fact that it's just portable, just everything about it. So that's one thing. Another thing that's super cheap that I highly recommend, especially if you're getting into drone, is Arduino Nano. 
um, you know, one thing is you can start playing with this. You don't really have to, but it's really nice. It really introduced you to electronics. You could just have this turn off and on an LED and you could play with them. But the fact is these come very useful if you, you know, brick something, if you need to flush your ESCs and for some reason your flight controller is unable to, you can do so much with this. It's, it's ridiculously insane. You could even connect your receiver to this and connect the USB and start playing your simulators through whatever receiver you have through an Arduino. And I have a couple videos on that. So just get one. They're like two bucks or a dollar. Trust me, this is not wasted money. Just keep one with you. It's Arduino Nano. Uh, get the one that I'm going to link down below because some of them have different chip drivers for the USB, thus creating a lot of problems with drivers. This one just right off the bat is beautiful. So I'll leave a link to this one down below. Uh, I have over 30 or 50. I don't know. I have so many Arduinos. But these are a must for issues and troubleshooting. Uh, so that's highly recommended. Also, hemostats. Now, I'll leave a link to these down below also. These are very good, especially for big wires. I haven't used them much lately, but what you do is some people will say, yes, it ruins wires, but usually in silicon wires are pretty good. For example, let me show you an example here. Uh, you have a wire which you like, let's show ESC power wires usually. Uh, you'd go ahead and just basically it'll click in place. So that's it, it's clicked in place. Now you could carry it like a, basically a pen or something and just put it exactly on the spot and you could even apply pressure like I'm applying pressure and solder it perfect and now you don't have to worry about your hand heating up and you get a perfect solder job done so these are really nice to have it's not a must but they're really 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 nice to have uh, there's a couple extra things that um, might be a little bit on the expensive side but if you can afford them they're totally worth it this helping hand, this is a real ACC helping hand. I need to get like two more. The reason why I'm, I'm, you don't see this on my channel is because this is what's holding all my wires and my oscilloscope wires when I'm undoing my ESC testing setup. This thing, once I used it as a spool holder, once I used it, I use this for almost anything, but usually when it's stuck on my ESC testing setup, I just leave it there because it's holding the correct wires from all the oscilloscopes and make sure nothing's gonna short circuit so I can keep the wires short so I could get a proper noise reading. So this thing is insane. The quality is superb. The aluminum here is heavy. It's 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 just awesome. And it even comes one with one like a little baby fan for soldering, so it'll blow away or blow out in or out the solder fumes. However, I don't use it. It comes with like a little USB when I just removed it. It comes connected like right here or something. And it has a lot of attachments. And um, it's it's sturdy as hell. I can tell you that right now. This thing is absolutely strong, and um, I'd highly recommend it. So there's. Another two pieces here, it's not really a must, but it's really, really nice to have, especially if you have the money. One thing, I got this full HD microscope here. Uh, this is awesome, it, you know, it has a screen up top and everything. I'll do a separate review for this later on. And it's powered by USB, it could be connected as a camera to your PC, or you can just use the screen that's up here. It takes SD card so you can record in 1080p. And what's so cool about it, it's actually, you can have it like this far, and watching your monitor or watching the monitor that's currently on this guy to uh, to basically do whatever you want. It's 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 phenomenal, especially if you can't see. It. And we're going to be using this on the channel to do uh, SMD repairs on flight controllers. That's another reason why I got it. And you can read the MOSFETs. You can see if there's any damage on the board. Um, it's phenomenal. The quality is superb. And I'll make a separate video if you guys want to see that later on. But yeah, this is totally recommended. Um, I've been using it and playing with it, and I'll be adding this to the channel somewhat. Now, if you're really hardcore into drone building, and sometimes you might have an issue, you don't know if you burnt a signal or something, you know, the, the signal pad on a, on a flight controller or something, this little mini oscilloscope is insanely awesome. I take this to the field with me sometimes, just in case to double check if things are working. If you guys are curious or you guys want more videos based on this, this is a two-channel oscilloscope, and um, it's... It's pretty awesome, actually. It's really awesome. I'll, I'll get into that later on. I'll show you how to debug with it, how to use it for specific things. Um, we can even see if, if the issue is from the camera. Uh, you can test, you can use it as a multimeter. Uh, it's just, it's a gorgeous piece of equipment. And I think it's even dropped down in price. It used to be like 100 something. And now maybe it's like 80, I think, last time I checked it. Uh, I'll leave a link to this exact one down below. The, the build quality is superb. It comes with the... Uh, connectors and everything and it's charged via USB you can't ask for better I mean this is an awesome little portable machine it's it's crazy how far technology has advanced here and uh, I truly highly recommend I mean only it's really meant for 
people who are really getting into this hobby. Plus, you could use this for other things if you know what you're doing. You can test why something is not working through the signal. And I can give you brief, you know, tutorials on these kinds of things if you guys are curious. And uh, we can go through it. So it's, it's really cool, this thing. And it has custom firmwares. It does all kinds of other stuff. Even You could even use it as a signal generator if you know what to do with that stuff. So um, this is a really, really awesome little guy right here. Like, super awesome. Anyways, put this guy to the side. Another thing which I think is very important is standoffs. This is obviously, those are not standoffs, but I can't find the correct box of the standoffs. Um, this brand of standoffs, I'll leave a link to it down below, I find to be the best. You know, usually on two threads, sometimes uh, the standoff would rip off, and that happens to me a lot. These are the best standoffs I've used till the state. I know there's going to be probably better. But for me, the, the or for I think for like ninety eight percent, if not a hundred percent, people, the strength of these are just superb, and um, I'd highly recommend them. I'll leave a link to them down below as well. So uh, these are some of the things I recommend. Also, there's a little three uh, D printed parts that I get from Banggood. You've probably seen them on my quad. I get a bunch of these. These are from my GoPro. Now I don't have any GoPros, and they don't sell the GoPro sessions anymore. So I'm looking for used ones to actually get because I have a ton of these. And I usually, you know, just zip time on my quadcopter. Now, this is super awesome. Not only that it's, I've never broken a GoPro ever since I got these. That's one thing. Another thing, um, it cushions the fall of your quadcopter. So you reduce the chances of breaking it. And it's helped quite a bit sometimes. Um, another thing is it's sometimes, well, lately it's not been easier to find this color green in the, in the grass. I wish I would have gotten orange lately. I've just been thinking like, why the hell did I get green? Grass is green. So I'd highly recommend you get another color. But the green just looks so sexy, doesn't it? Um, I'm in love with it. I try to print some like this, but I, I, I don't I can't print like that. It's just so awesome I don't even know what kind of filament they're using But yeah, uh, this is something uh, very you know If you especially if you have an HD camera or GoPro, uh, I'd highly recommend this I, I always put this on my quads even if you don't put a camera in it, it'll save your quad So it's, it's very nice. So these are you know the, the highly recommended things uh, You could also get an FTDI adapter, but the Arduino Nano just plays almost every single role plus it's a little bit faster and some things you'll need it a little bit faster uh, as for example the simulator is like connecting a receiver to this guy and basically the pc and then you're playing wireless a simulator through the arduino which is insane it's a guy called cleric hero software huge shout out to him um i haven't talked with him in a while though i need to i need to email him or something just to see what's up with him but he's the one that created the software and emailed me and then i created tutorials of how to set it up it's just awesome it works s bus i bus and basically any other you know protocol except obviously pwm but who uses pwm anymore so it's it's it's, it's phenomenal it's really awesome um what else do we have i think that's really it right now i'm going to be editing the flight video of the recent quad we built I also have another quad to be built as well uh, the Tico 32s are back in stock and I'm adding things into the secret shop uh, throughout the next couple hours. So a lot of cool things are coming and um, I have a couple new stuff that nobody's ever heard of. So uh, once I get time to start testing it, probably if I'm allowed to release some of that information, I will. But I'm pretty sure I am. So I'll just do it anyways. And um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I really thank you for everything. Uh, all your support, all your likes, everything you guys do. You guys have just been awesome, and we're just growing constantly. Currently, I'm a little bit busy with family matters at the current moment of time. Hopefully, by the end of uh, August, everything will just be stabilized. Hopefully, everything will be stable again. But um, that, that's not going to take time away from the channel. I'm doing as best as I can here. And I might start two new channels, but, you know, those are nobody's going to know about unless you find them. Um, I want them to grow organically. So I have a couple of crazy ideas and they won't be as, you know, into this kind of thing. But yeah, that's just another topic. But yeah, so these things I'd highly recommend. Some things, you know, are a bit expensive. They're not really mandatory, but it's very, very nice to have, you know. Uh, they could cut down cost on you and then you could just, you know, get into learn some new stuff. It's just always fun. You know, you could start playing with this with your kids toys or whatever. Uh, so it's, it's really nice. Um, these things and I think that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll leave a link to everything down below if you wanted to check everything out and That's it guys. I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care